They say beauty lies in the eyes of the beholder. They also say East or West home is the best. Well, to me, my country Uganda is home. It is where I have grown from. I've lived with my mom and my dad and my siblings from there. It's the pearl of Africa. Y'all wouldn't happen to have heard about this country Uganda. It is located in East Africa. Uganda is referred to as the pearl of Africa because Winston Churchill coined that nickname to show the people out there the beauty, variety and natural wealth of the land. Since Uganda has been known for its beautiful physical features, cultures, food, tribes, etc., many tourists have managed to come to Uganda and support it economically. Uganda is also known for its diverse activities like gorilla trekking, safaris, multi-day mountain treks, and water rafting. Speaking of tribes, there are over 56 tribes in the country Uganda. Some of them include the Baganda, which is the biggest, and others include the Basoga, Bahima, Banyankole. I'm not going to finish all the names, but there are so many. As we know, the Baganda, the Baganda put on gomeses as their traditional wear, whereas the men put on the kanzu. That's during the weddings and some very big functions. As for the Banyankole, they put on the omshanana for the weddings and for their specific functions. I'm not going to finish all the beautiful things of Uganda, but what I know is I miss it a lot. I miss my dad. I miss my family out there. When I left Uganda, I felt I felt heartbroken because it's where I have grown from, it's where I have been. But I had to go and meet my mom and set a new life and increase on my education and better myself. But still Uganda will always remain in my heart soul and mind. I love my country. Hello everyone, I am Victoria. Hello, call me Victoria. I am from Nigeria. I'm here to talk about my life. My own language was Yoruba. And I can see some few sentences in a good way. Let me say, um, good morning. As I'll say, a castle. That's for good morning. And good night. I'll say, a kale. I know, like, to language, English, and Yoruba. So that's Yoruba is my main language and my culture. And Niger, there's over 360 um languages, Niger and cultures. Nigeria has, but the main uh, culture in Nigeria are Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and I don't remember the last one. And since when I was 11 years, I got the passion for singing. So after that, I started writing songs to improve in my singing. And I first did my first song and just a good 
song actually so and when i was 11 i like i spent thinking about what i'll become in life so i decided to become a nurse because a nurse is a good occupation to help people who I need. In Nigeria, there's a difference between schools because there's a public school and a private school. Me, I go to a private school because I'm still so young to go to a public school. A public school is for like an older person because it's kind of more disciplined than a private school, but you're still the same approximately. So, in Nigeria, Abuja is like the most good city for building houses. So, Nigeria flag is green, white, green. And Nigeria, sometimes people must take the wrong precedent because some precedent just become a precedent not to up the better for Nigeria. Like our last year president, everyone was so happy that it was Tinubu. So after that, but the president didn't really behave how it's supposed to be because it, it wasn't making the city better because now in Nigeria things are more expensive and really really scarce and people are homeless and when I came to Ireland I was really really grateful for my mom and I, I made some friends in a few weeks and some people i didn't make friends with them because i don't bother to make friends with anyone i just prefer being alone my train star but i made friends and the friend i made was a good friend to encourage me no matter what and i love ireland because Ireland there's a new thing to discover from my country i some contents in my country that ireland has so some things are really really nice to discover in ireland so I really love summer in Ireland because that's when you can discover new adventures and go to different places, all that and so on. I lived in the beautiful city of Kherson. Я жила в прекрасном городе Херсоне. Я жила в прекрасном месте Херсоне. I had a lot of friends. У меня было много друзей. The men было дуже багато друзів. I went to Ukrainian school, with which I have many pleasant memories. Я училась в школе, с которой у меня связано очень много приятных воспоминаний. Я ходила до школы, с которой у меня есть много приятных спогадов. I had a high dreams of flying to America, namely New York. У меня была огромная мечта полететь в Америку, а именно в Нью-Йорк. У меня были мрии полететь до Америки, а именно в Нью-Йорк. And also getting a dog. И завести собаку. И завести собаку. But I had a cat that I love very much. Но у меня была кошка, которую я очень люблю. Але в мене була кішка, яку я дуже люблю. But one day changed my whole life. На один день изменил всю мою жизнь. Але один день изменил все моє життя. I was asleep in my bed. Я спала в своей комнате. Я спала у своей кімнаті. Then I heard strange sounds there street. Потом я услышала странные звуки на улице. Я краптом почула дивовижні звуки, які відносяться з вулиці. It was 4 a.m. Было 4 утра. Было 4 утра. Then I woke up. I went to my parents' room. Проснувшись, я пошла в комнату родителей. С питаннями я побила до батьків, щоб спитати, що це за звуки. They also didn't not sleep and were shocked by these sounds. Они тоже не спали і були в шокі від цих звуків. Мама та тато вже не спали, вони були в паніці. The phone is ringing on the hook with news. Телефон розривався від новостей. Наш телефон розривався від новин. Has the war really started? Действительно ли началась война? Повсюду было написано, война началась. Suddenly a neighbor knocked on the door, shouting, where has started? Вдруг в дверь постучалась соседка с криком, война началась. Раптом до нас постукала соседка 
с криками «Вина, вина!». We got into the car and went to pick up my older brother. Мы сели в машину и поехали забирать моего старшего брата. Мы сели в машину, да поехали за братом. He was with his girlfriend, который был со своей девушкой. Він був у своїй дівчині. We all went to my uncle's place together because they had a bunker. Мы все вместе поехали к моему дяде, потому что у него был бункер. Потом мы поехали до моего дядька, бо в него был бункер. And it was safe there. И там было безопасно. И там безопасно. The best feeling when you don't know if you woke up tomorrow. Самое лучшее чувство, когда ты не знаешь, проснешься ли ты завтра или нет. Каждый день мы были в страху. Вот это конец. Але в нас з'явився шанс переїхати в Грузію. It's very scary. Это очень страшно. The last year was the explosion within our house. Последней каплей стал взрыв над нашим домом. And we decided to move to Georgia. Мы пришли переехать в Грузию. We lived in the hotel for about three months. Мы жили в отеле около трех месяцев. В Грузии мы жили понад трех месяцев. All the time I really missed Ukraine and my cat. After all, she remained in Ukraine. Я все время скучала по своей кошке. Она осталась в Украине. We decided to move to Poland. I live in Poland for about a year. Потом мы решили переехать в Польшу. А потом переехали до Польши. But my parents didn't have a job. Но моих родителей не было работы. И мои одноклассники меня не взлюбили. У батьков не было работы, а мои одноклассники не взлюбили меня. And now I'm here, in Ireland. I don't know if this is the end or what. И нам пришлось переехать в Ирландию. Здесь хорошо. Я не знаю, конец ли это или нет. И мы переехали до Ирландии. Чи це кінець, чи ні? So you know, I was I was just thinking one time mm-hmm. when we all like to, when we who we want to be like you know right. I was just thinking about how we met each other. We met each other in camp, right? Yeah. Yeah, in camp. I don't think okay, we did. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think I met Serafina and I met you, but I don't think you met Serafina, right? Yeah, I didn't really talk to Serafina. Not that I even talk to you, but I, I saw never you talked guys. To Sarah, uh, I never spoke to you as well. I thought she was older than me. <laughs> I, I am was. older than you. We spoke. The like, first time we spoke. It was like, like it was when, when I was telling you to come and talk to you now. Right. Yeah. So when like, was the first time we spoke? Yeah. Like I saw him come. Like when I approached her, she was like somehow. Rude. She was rude. Of yeah. Time. I was obviously she, rude. She, she, she made, because she, like, she let me really tell you rude. something. I will cut you short there. You see, Bucky is like. Oh, <laughs> so, at that point, I won't give her any chance to speak. <laughs> I will just let it out. That. <laughs> No, we did no. not. Like it was school. Do you remember that time in school? Like 
We were yeah. all yeah. yeah. scared. I was like, the boys left us. That's and then after some time, they saw that nah, this girl has something we like. No, we just and wanted then... to give. <laughs> no, no, because that no. I personally wanted to give Shepard a try to see how. Okay, what what did you find out after that try? But <laughs> like, no, I was I was always nice, and you guys didn't want to talk to me. But after that time, huh. I started talking you to you. You are me. lying, and it was nice. You are lying. I wanted to talk to you. So. I never. Well, I will come out playing. I never was good to the kid. I was good on my own with Tisha. Sorry. Back in your country, we were like your interesting stuff to do because we are obviously not from South Africa, so we don't get it dry. Yet. So just us. Yeah, like tell well, us about my interesting show. stuffs to do. Like you know, uh, yeah. my music career, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We yeah. also found that that we had something. <laughs> we had that's the connection yeah. we had. Yeah. I don't really, I don't really fancy music. She and that's a, that's a shame. That's a shame. That's but shame. we love music, and that is why Kisha can never upgrade to that legendary <laughs> version. Don't of don't mind what she's saying. <laughs> but they like music, but like I'm oh. different. I like well, well, them. That was I support them. Okay, I'm the different cultures between uh, Nigerian and um, South African. So I'd say the music definitely, yeah. um, the food and um, the accents because they used to make fun of my accent so much. Mm. Yes. I don't do that. It's, it's very, it's very. I don't do that. Very, I don't do I don't. that too. Yeah, never. And so I feel I wouldn't do such a thing. Like. I'm from Nigeria, as you can tell. I'm a Yoruba girl. I never asked. I'm still speaking. I'm, I'm still speaking. I'm, I'm still speaking. I'm I'm still speaking. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. I'm a proud Igbo girl. Okay. You know, we Igbos, that's me about us. We always give and leave no clothes. No, I think it's the total. Oh, okay. No, don't forget that part that you are very stingy. Like, yeah. Evil yeah. people are really stingy. Oh. Evil people are really stingy. I'm like, <laughs> and she's lying. She's oh. lying. Exactly. Your boss are the most. You are like, yes, the most common thing. Like, she even knows my language. She speaks it. What? Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't it's speak a language. Like, yeah. In your Nigeria, you must know your oh. boss. So, like, oh. It's very yeah. common. Like, it's very oh. popular. You should know. Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm like, like, yeah, like, like, you know some insults in your best some insults in your so that if they should give you one, you give them thanks for Yeah, and that was also we met Jesus Christ. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Mm. But that, I'm not stingy. I just feel like that my money or anything should be given, should have the words. Like, imagine Kisha come to tell me, give me the bottle and you expect me to give you the bottle. I think she placed money that bottle. You still stingy, you know? Yeah, that's the best to get that. So, do you remember that time, like, to our rooms and like yeah. said we should come to church. Yeah. Yeah. What? Did you, did you come to your room? No. In Nigeria, I was a Christian. I was living a normal life, going to church with my parents, my grandma, and everything. I obeyed the laws, the commandments, not to steal, the laws of Moses, and all that. But like, I wasn't really sure. I didn't have a private relationship with God. I didn't know him personally. But when I came to Ireland at the age of twelve. Yeah, that was the last two years. I experienced God. I, I, I saw his mom and I started to be interested. Well, for me, um, I was also just a normal girl, but uh, I was not really interested in the things of God. I tried to obey the commandments, tried to live a holy life, but I always failed myself. And when I got to Ireland, um, I became more serious about God because of an incident that happened in my life. And yeah, I started drawing closer to God. So you're saying God saved you? Yeah, He actually incident. saved me from an incident, oh. and that's what drew me closer to Him. Now I'm a very religious girl. I obey His, his law, His commandments. I know Him right. privately. I know Him. I pray daily. I read my Bible daily. Amazing. Yeah, it's really amazing to be with God, to know to know God, to see the miracles of God. And you, Shaki, and you, Serafina. I'm a Christian now, although I was a Christian. I'm a Catholic now. Yes. I say my rosary daily with my family and novenas and devotions mm-hmm. daily. Uh, well, for me, I'm more of a, should I say, spiritual person now. Um, I read my Bible more and I understand because previously I wouldn't understand but now I read my Bible and understand and I speak to God and he's more of a personal uh, it's a personal relationship more than just like a religious relationship with God now yeah, yeah that's really cool I like it amazing 
And since I believe that everyone was created for a purpose, I'd like to leave out my purpose that God has um, made for me. What about you, Keisha? Really, I want to be a preacher, like preaching to people, young people, about the gospel, mm -hmm. about everything about Jesus, how he saved us, how he loves us. Right. I really want people to know so they can turn back to him. Amazing. And know him personally too. Yeah, that's yeah. really beautiful. How about you, Serafina? In addition to what you, we girls have said, mm -hmm. I personally want to be more in Christ, mm -hmm. grow with Him, that father-daughter relationship with Christ, mm -hmm. live my normal life, and not to be infected with the world, worldly things. Yeah, I agree with that. That's beautiful. Of, of course. Yeah. Oh, no. because he knew maybe he knew you were Catholic, so. Catholic. Right. Yeah, but like he came to me and her room, me and Shakina room. He came to knock my door saying she come to church, but, but she never came. To when me. I was here, when I was really serious, I used to come serious. before you started. Oh no no, I used to come and you were coming to church. When I wasn't really serious, I didn't come. So I, I didn't church. come at all to church. I didn't. She, that that was her before she yeah, met Jesus I did, Christ. Yeah. But now that she's a church girl on a daily basis. Yeah. Like I'm every, every, every I'm Sunday, the one, yeah. she's the leader. No no no, praise. She I need praise. She needs praise. I need worship. So. Back in back in back in those days. You know, I was an altar girl. But <laughs> unfortunately in Nigeria you don't understand you're not Catholic. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, but unfortunately in Ireland, everything is just dry. I can't blame them. No, I cannot. <laughs> I just think they should they can do better. Sorry. But they maybe the presence of the Holy Spirit needs to be felt in that church. Right. Yeah. But it's not being felt. No 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 no. Do I feel the Holy Spirit. In Nigeria it's like church this pastor's church. church. Like, no, I cannot. You feel no, I cannot. I cannot. No. Why? I can like, join your like church. Catholic is not supposed to be in the Protestant no, church. No, that is not it. Oh, I can okay. join your church, but my mass is like priority comes before oh. anything. Like I must go and venerate Jesus Christ. Then right. after I can come to Jesus. It's my choice not to join, and I'm not joining. So like, right. But I can right. come if I want for the praises and Bible study. <coughs> I don't you feel. Know, I, I don't study. feel enough to my own come for the Bible relationship with Jesus Christ. And right. Back in Nigeria, you sing, you kabash, you Father will come, the holy water will spark. that demon in you to cast out. They know who God that demon will boy. You have to say some words in Latin. You want to sing Latin songs? No Latin songs at all. So, and no just... presence of the Holy Spirit whatsoever. Yeah. No, no, there is, but just is more you like solemn, like like holy, like, like holy, yeah. But like Nigeria, quiet. you take it by force. Whether the Holy Spirit does not want to come, you grab it by the hand. Like God, you are not leaving my side. That kind of stuff. But here is like <laughs> <laughs> here is like everybody has their own. And issues and everything, so it's they come right. to church like I'm here for Jesus Christ. They don't really Nigeria is like more of a collective something. We have charismatic, like we pray. If you have right. troubles, drop your prayer points. Two weeks. Okay. Is wow. So yeah, I'm, I'm well with the Protestant church. It's usually right, like yeah, the like, music. Yeah, like this is how we like first. We pray really like just to ask the Holy Spirit to guide us. And yeah, we, that's like very important. Yeah, we, we thank God first. We thank God yeah, first. we thank God first. Yeah, then for the service for everything, and then we ask Him to give us with and understanding in for the service. And then we start. And then we start worship. We start she leads worship, worship as I said. She prays. Yeah, and she leads praise. I have the vibe of praise. Yes. Yeah, yeah. so I have the vibe of praise. So. Then after praise, we talk. We do Bible study. We, do Bible we talk study. about the Bible. So, are there any major differences in Catholicism and no. Protestant? Mm -hmm. Nothing at all. No. Yeah. As I, aside from the part, the Holy Communion part. And then, okay. yeah, I think we do only. We, no. we do do we do do it on a no, basis. Yeah, we, no, we do no. It. No, listen to me, it's two different things. When you come to Catholic Communion and protest, no, I, I strongly disagree on that. Okay. It's a, Two so different things. Catholic is like we do homily, we call it homily, Bible sharing homily, okay. where the priest, everybody stands up, you read the verse, mm. sit down, and then the priest explains, give you his own thoughts and everything. Then during the communion, you raise the chalice, you raise your head, <coughs> altar bell, you ring it, mm -hmm. cause your attention, like 
everybody look up to the altar like Christ is here already. Oh, Whatever okay. petitions you have, you say it. The angels already carry your petitions to the altar. Yeah. That kind of stuff. So like, Wait, do you do Holy Communion every, every day? day. Yeah. Oh, every yeah, day. I was trying to say that like we only do it on some on basic some events. Not we do it every day, but oh, yeah. not everybody can receive. Like if you are yeah. not in the state of grace, there is no need of like. Yes, you just yeah, you force with your mom and told me I come to church yeah, to say holy uh, uh, I don't, I agree with you. You have to yeah, that's very true. holy yourself. Yeah. You wake up, you know, I'm going for Christ. You mm. go Jesus. No, mine was like I was just going to man just for the crack. Just like, for the oh, for yeah. the charismatic. Yeah, just like it's not for the charismatic. Like, to me, I was at all. It's just that like you know when you're going to church, like, I don't want to be at home. No, my friends are there on the altar, you know. Mm. But like this particular day, like we were playing Latin music, is um, yeah. Gregorian chants. Like that place was the it was a retreat. Mm -hmm. So like everywhere we were burning with incense. Okay. You could feel like the aura. Like everybody was praying. So I was on the altar and I was like yeah. holding the plate for Father to give the communion so that it's not further like. And I was giving Father the lavabo dish. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so. I just felt like something in my body just came out like mm. I was shivered. Then that place changed for me. Only the mother is just mm. like, okay, they are playing music, they are playing music. Yeah. This one I actually felt. No, no, like no, no, no. Yeah, and I was like, and then when I went to hostel, when I went to hostel for my junior work, I was like, oh god, I did not read for that. To be honest, mm -hmm. I did not read. I just have my core subjects that okay, I will read for it, yeah, and not the rest I don't really care because. I'm not even if I don't read that's the thing I love about like my relationship with me and Jesus. Even if I don't read, my mark can't go below 80 mm -hmm. for that subject. Mm -hmm. Like it's a covenant between me and God, like I cannot let that go. Yeah, I read for like my mass English agreed the ones that my mom beat me for if I don't pass. Mm -hmm. And I was like, God please oh, let me get distinction, everything. I just live like two bees. And mm -hmm. we're doing this in Nigeria now. If you pass all your subjects, they'll put your name and the rest. So right. You become the latest celebrity in class. Yeah. And they already knew me, me in my school that was ah, this song cannot pass. Uh -oh. So I was like, I will show you. And my name came out. Eleven yeah. distinction. So God answered your prayers. So that, that's how yeah. God works, guys. If that's how God works. Yeah. And I just want to say to someone yeah. out there. That Jesus Christ, loves you. He loves you. He loves you so, so much. So go, go for yeah. him. Don't the same way he down. came through for us is the same way he can come through for you. you. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and, and the, the life. life. Yeah. Au revoir. Bye. 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 Catch you on our next yeah, podcast. <laughs>
people used to have a lot of car accidents and a lot of people have died lately and the schools are also developed about my first time I started school in Ireland my first friends and everything and it's clean and it's not messy like Nigeria and the president I think is really nice because not some stuff and actually expensive so and I also go to a lot of fun places like about four places in a week training and here and youth club and training again I also have to say that Ireland is a little bit better than Nigeria because it's more developed I want to become a doctor because I like to treat people when they are unwell I also have passion for singing too but I don't do that a lot like I did in Nigeria I miss my country Nigeria and my relatives and friends and family I miss my country and I love my country What motivates me? I think I motivate myself and family and just everyone. And when I see people doing it, it also makes me think I can do it. Football, the nice sport, I love it because but the players, the passion players are for it and I think I just love it and have the passion for it. And when I came to Ireland, I never knew they were to they were not too um, into football, they were into the Irish sport Gaelic, which I thought it is in football. But then it's still going well. Opportunities can come anytime and I can find my chance one day. Um I play I play for Castle Finn Celtic FC and I joined them last year when I first came into Ireland and then I think I was still 15 and then I played my first match for them against Lifford at Straban and then I think it was a draw one and then from then I just stopped for a few months after I went to play for the other 16s and then it was good I started regular games season ended and after I started going to the training for the senior team and then they called me from a play for the reserves started playing regularly and but now the season is ended I have to my mind to be a footballer or to just be successful as a mechanical engineer just being a professional football team maybe in England or Spain or Italy or anyway I like Manchester United and just other teams as far as I am into it, I am known everywhere. I think if you believe it can happen, and then it will happen.
all in my life, I have always wanted to be a doctor, but I also like dancing. When I was in Nigeria, I loved playing football. So one day, my mom said we are traveling, and I was so excited. As I sat on the plane, I could not help but feel a mix of emotion. I was living in Nigeria, the only home I had ever known to start a new adventure in Ireland. I was excited to explore a new country, but also nervous about living behind my family and my friends. Also, as the plane took off, I felt a sense of excitement wash over me. I was finally doing it. I was traveling to Ireland. The long fight gave me a time to reflect on my journey. So far, I thought about my last day in Nigeria with loved one trying to cherish every moment. Finally, the plane landed and I stepped off onto Irish shore for the first time. Everything felt new and unfamiliar for, from the language to the food to the accent. I was amazed to make the most of the time here. The next day, I started at my new school like a small fish in a big pond. But as I met my new classmates, I was excited that we, we all are in this together. I was happy. I met one friend and her name was Faye. She took me under her wings. She showed me around the school, introduced me to her friends and helped me settle in with her by my side. I started to feel more at home. As the day passed into weeks, and started, it started to find my rhyme. I explored the country and it was so beautiful. I tried a new food drink. Looking back, I realized that traveling to Ireland was the best decision I ever made. It pushed me out of my comfort zone, forced me to go and introduce me to incredible people and experience and as I sit here now surrounded by my new friends I know that I have found my second home. In the end I learned that home is where the heart is and my heart will always be with Phoebe and Victoria and the incredible memories we create together in Ireland. Hi everyone, my name is Nara Greg Omen. I am from Nigeria and recently moved to Ireland and I'm here to tell you my story. Living behind the familiarity of Nigeria was bittersweet. As I had bid farewell to family and friends, a mixture of excitement and apprehension filled my heart. The memories of my homeland, the vibrant country and the warmth of its people will forever be etched in my soul. Yet the prospect of new beginnings and the allure of Ireland moved me forward. Stepping foot into Ireland was like entering a whole new world. The large green landscapes dotted with ancient castles and picturesque square villages unfolded before my eyes. The beauty of Ireland's natural surroundings set as a comforting backdrop as I began to navigate my way through this new chapter of my life. As time went on, I began to immerse myself in the Irish experience. I discovered a rich history and folklore explored ancient castles and indulged in traditional Irish cuisines. The warmth and friendliness of the Irish people made me feel welcome and helped me to forge new connections. I also had the opportunity to share my own culture and traditions, fostering a beautiful cultural exchange. One of the most rewarding aspects of my journey was the opportunity to embrace the difference between Nigeria and Ireland. 
I'll find my joy in sharing my own cultural heritage while also learning from the Irish people. The fusion of Nigerian and Irish tradition, traditions created a unique tapestry of experiences, fostering a deeper appreciation for the diversity that exists in our world. Leaving Nigeria and coming to Ireland was a transformative journey that shaped my perspective on the world and my place within it. It was a roller coaster of emotions, from the initial excitement to the challenges faced along the way. Through embracing the Irish experience, I learned to navigate a new culture. Hello, I'm Damaris. I'm a Ugandan. I want to share my story with you. On the day I left my country, I felt a little bit bad and at the same time I felt good. I started to miss my friends and relatives, but I kept it calm. When we reached Ireland, Ireland was cold because we came during winter. When we left the airport, I was amazed how Ireland looks like. I was very excited to make new friends from other countries. My first day at school, I felt happy that I'm going to a new school. When I entered my class, I met my first friend. She was kind and helpful. I was happy that I met my first friend. And on that day, I met other friends of mine who are from Nigeria and Zimbabwe and others. I was so happy about making friends and coming to Ireland.